month later, um, the Blueprint Two: The Gift and the Curse is released. Mm-hmm. I've not looked at in years. his discography. I've, I, I haven't listened to this album in years. Going through the list of the track listing, featuring a dream featuring Faith Evans and Notorious B.I.G., which I was like, mm-hmm. stop right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> stop right there. The commercials for this album had him rapping this a cappella. Remember? Mm, it's the black mind it against the black background. <clears throat> so am I to believe again, remember in ether, he says he says a lot of disparaging things. Am I gonna say all of them? Uh <laughs> about Jay being on on Big's on his bumper, being on being being a a, a weed carrier for Big's <laughs> And so what does Jay-Z do? He goes to the route of, well, I really knew Big. And you know what? He came to me in a dream. And he told me all about this whole situation. And he told me that even like, like Jesus, you're like Jesus. So they st- they'll stone you too. There is a, there is a, a sense of, well, here goes the commercial. Before you, before you go into it. The I'm not playing the audio, but go ahead. But there is a sense of paranoia throughout Blueprint 2. And there's like a, an invisible they, hashtag they throughout the whole album and you're wondering who's they other than Nas is it Dame is it Rockefeller who is it that's doubting Jay-Z at this point you don't even fucking know but at this point it's almost as if Jay doesn't trust anyone because I guess he didn't get enough love after takeover lost to Ether so he says you know what everything that Nas brought up about me on, on Ether I'm going to bring up on this album in front start in song number one since he says I'm a bit I'm, I'm a notorious B.I.G. dick writer he came to me in a dream and said that he, I knew that all this was coming and I'm going to get his wife on it. And hence, I'm not going to play the audio because they will absolutely pull this shit. But <laughs> this is strange. This is strange. This is weird. <laughs> I see. I said jealousy. I said got the whole industry mad at who? <laughs> <laughs> if anything, meals, they're more mad at Nas. Because he's one not engaging in the in Jay Z's theatrics, two tried to hang a dummy that looked like a black man in Summer Jam. The industry is more mad at Nas. Nas is more mad at the industry for again, as he said before, they have written him off. Who's mad at you? The the album featured a dream with Faith Evans and Tori's I B I G Hovey Baby. Great song, great song. The Watcher, the Dr. Dre Rock Him and Truth Hurts. Because Truth Hurts' biggest fucking feature at any point in life ever. And, and again, first three songs really Nas, Nas, really Nas either subliminals or Nas disses. I mean, the Hovey Baby is pretty much f- fantastic song. Mm-hmm. Credit, credit to Just Blaze for picking that obscure TLC sample. The, that's to- the sample from that is t- the the beginning of TLC's tour when they come out. It's that instrumental that that, that yeah, like it's crazy. Um, excuse me, Miss. Great record. I remember playing it at my prom. Um, what they gonna do featuring Sean Paul, which I can't even remember what that sounds like. Yo, 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 good old the wild side, good old the wild side. I believe that song had a remix or the original version at the end of this too. And that was like the remixed version. All around the world with Latoya Williams. No, I'm not fully sure who Latoya Williams is. Um, Real J. Popping tags, big boy, killer Mike and Twister. <clears throat> uh, Andre three thousand wouldn't do the song for that. Had to replace him with Killer Mike. Andre three thousand wouldn't do the song. He said in an interview he was like popping tags. He was just like well, that's that's not what I'm all about. <laughs> so he wouldn't do he, he didn't do the song. Jay really wanted him on the song. He wouldn't do it. Hilarious. Um, Fuck all night. Produced by the Neptunes. Terrible. Um, the bounce with Kanye West. This um, was you see if you watch Genius. Uh, Kanye West documentary. This was kind of his moment when he rapped this verse to Jay, and Jay was like, "Okay, you can get on the song." Um, <laughs> that verse, <laughs> yeah, it, it was that verse uh, that got him on there again. It, it was another like it was basically a Kanye verse that he had been spitting on his mixtapes for like a year at that point. Um, and then I did it my way, and it ends the gift. Um, now the curse comes. <laughs> Diamond is forever. Stop right there. Uh, he calls out everyone on Rockefeller 
in the first verse, and then at the end says, I guess snatch Cam and it's a wrap. Like he's, he's like, I guess you could get Cam too, I guess. Fuck, whatever. Um, Guns and Roses featuring Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. It's produced by Heavy D. You don't know remix featuring MOP. Song is a year old. Why is it on there? <laughs> Meet the parents. Great song. Somehow, some way. Great song. And Scarface. Mm-hmm. They had the chemistry they had. The chemistry they had was just off Absolutely. the charts. Very big trios championship vibe. Um, <laughs> some people hate. Fantastic. Uh, so- Nas this. <laughs> <laughs> Blueprint two, stop, um, it, right there. stop it right there. Can't y'all see that he's fake? The rap version of TD Jakes prophesizing on his CDs and tapes. <laughs> well, he mentions the million dollars that he would not put up. Won't give you a dime off the the, the, the little that he makes. <laughs> like I, I another line. Uh, I spent dollars on mine as Columbine when the towers dropped. I was the first in line. So what? <laughs> So what? I have never ever heard a rapper brag about the charities that they gave to, because because why? They, they say they call me they call me Mr. Misogynist, but they don't tell me the the amount that he gives back to the kids or whatever. Okay, is this supposed to put you over Nas? Is it Uchi Wally Waller? Is it one mic? That's where this comes from as well. This was literally like, why don't y'all love me <laughs> like you love Nas? What did you feel about this song when you heard it? I can't remember any of the Blueprint 2. I bought the Blueprint <laughs> 2.1 because why would I buy a double disc album? And, and that I, came- the thing was, I heard it wasn't that great. And I remember, and, I, and then to fill out my Jay-Z, because I had a bunch of Jay-Z albums, I said, okay, yeah. I'll just buy Blueprint 2.1. It costs yeah. less. Yeah. Um, so I bought Blueprint 2. Blueprint 2 was a solid $30 when it came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, there was no yeah. way I was gonna get it. No, nah. <laughs> and and I remember listening to that playing GTA Vice City at the time. They came out around the same time, mm-hmm. and um and and again, Blueprint two, two point one was even a reaction to how people felt about it because they were expecting him to come harder. The real hip hop heads wanted him to come harder. That's what the curse was about. But then you have uh, so many hoes <laughs> on that disc. Too many hoes. Um, I don't know what's going on outside. Um, <laughs> nigga, please featuring Young Chris. Um, Kill them. Kill them on that. <laughs> as one featuring Memphis Bleak, Beanie Siegel, Freeway, Young Guns, Speedy Crack, Sparks, and Rel. No cam. <laughs> <laughs> no cam. I'm just listen. I'm just saying it. I'm just speaking. What what happened in, in 2002? This is a great segment. A ballad for the fallen soldier. Terrible. Song. And for <laughs> Um, show you how bitches and sisters and what they gonna do part two as the bonus tracks on this. And then he would drop the blueprint 2.1, which is the one that I would buy, and I wouldn't buy it until April 2003. Um the album sells 540 545,000 in its first week, which is okay. It's double though. It's a double disc album. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's doubled, so it really sold half. Yeah, but because it's a double disc album, they count both disc, which mm-hmm. is what bothered me. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's it does it does what it is. It debuts at number one, all the other jazz like that. Um, I had a video for this. What did I have on this for? Oh no, Sway interview. Um, <laughs> and then December fifth. This is the last point, so we can actually head into wrestling after not talking about wrestling for a whole fucking hour. <laughs> I feel as though a lot of the people on our Patreon is going to love this. Absolutely. Jay-Z and Reebok announced the S. Doc Carter Reebok collection. Your old Jay. Who is he meeting with? Who is he with? What are they enticing him with? This is what you can do on your own. It's not the Rockefeller collection. It's the S. Doc Carter collection. Mm. And this is where, listen, you don't know a lot of rappers' real names. No. It's, not, no, it's a it's, easy... It's, easy. <laughs> He's transforming the perception. A lot. He, was, he was setting up his next move because what does he do, Mills? I know we're not going to 2003, but what does he do, Mills, when the, the, the album reviews for Blueprint 2 are less than satisfactory? Y'all don't get it. I'm retiring. 